Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds. We're in our show garden, we're standing in our pole bean plantation, and we have a whole variety of pole beans that we have on display over here for you guys to come through and literally just pick a pole bean and just come and taste one and see what they like, see which one is your favorite. One of the things that we've noticed is that we've got a red spider mite infestation that is just starting um, on these pole beans. And if you, if you see these, these little white spot or these little yellow spots on the leaves that is a an indication that we need to do something before it becomes a, a real mess of red spider mites with webs everywhere if you have a look at this leaf over here you'll see these tiny little yellow spots on the leaf and that is an indicator that there are red spider mites on the leaf and in the beginning of an infestation you don't see the red spider mite on the leaf and um, you don't see any webbing but if you flip the leaf over and if you look very carefully you can see a couple of tiny little spots over here and those spots are the red spider mite infestation that has just started so what you're going to be using to uh, help us get rid of this red spider mite infestation is something called the Swirsky Ultimite from Coppet Biological Systems and a box like this contains 25 of these little sachets over here and let me just tell you about these about these little sachets because it's it's actually quite important how these sachets work first of all it's a foil sachet it's a biodegradable foil sachet so it's not going to harm the environment um, and inside this sachet they're actually called breeding bags because what's inside here is brand normal brand that you put in a normal brand that you have in your cereal um, so there's brand inside here and what they've done is they've inoculated that brand with a brand mite that actually eats the brand um, and the brand mite can only eat the brand um, and once the brand is finished it'll die out and then what they've done is they've put a whole lot of Swirsky eggs inside this bag. So what happens is the Swirsky eggs hatch, they're looking for food, and they have immediate food available, which is the brand mite. But the brand mites are not their, um, their preferred food. They, they actually enjoy thrips. They really love whitefly. They eat red spider mite. They eat the, the broad mites. They eat a whole, a whole host of mites. And we'll be using them in this garden to actually treat our red spider mite infestation. Um, and if you notice, there's a tiny, that, that little dark line over there is, a, is an exit hole for the Swirsky once they hatch um, to actually leave the breeding bag. And they will hatch and leave the breeding bag um, over a period of about two weeks. So this isn't a, it's gonna happen today and you're gonna see mites crawling out of here literally in, in 12 hours. These mites will leave the bag um, over a period of about two weeks it's most important that you actually don't cut this bag open that you leave the bag intact like this the reason why is that if the brand gets moist it's going to clump and it's going to actually um, congeal around um, any of the of the brand mites inside here as well as congealing around the Swirsky mites that you actually want to leave the breeding bag to go and hunt down your red spider mite infestation so guys please hang the bag just like this you'll notice over here that it's a little tag it's like a little clip so you can just take this clip hook it onto a branch of the plant and the amazing thing is that the Swirsky mites actually don't have any eyes they can smell a distressed plant so when a plant is being attacked by red spider mite it actually releases a scent that attracts the Swirsky mites so the Swirsky can find the distressed plant just by smell and they're able to move from plant to plant if as long as the plants are touching or if you have wires or strings running between the plants the Swirsky mites will actually migrate across those across those strings to new plants which makes this a phenomenal uh, beneficial insect to have well, especially when you when you have issues like red spider mite or thrips or white fly in your uh, in your garden so guys these are quite cheap um, you, you get five bags for around 70 80 rand you get five bags and there's 200 mites in every single bag so um, that's lots of bang for your buck and like I said they attack 
red spider mite, broad mite, hemp mites, um, a whole variety of mite species, as well as attacking white fly larva as well. Guys, thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. If you um, are enjoying the information we're sharing with you, please click the subscribe button right here and um, you'll, be, you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. Thank you guys.